Hey guys, Bubba and Red Bear. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with another video. If you guys know my hair is pulled back like this, I never wear my hair down and wear a ponytail, but I am today because I am going to be BMXing and I got these sweats on in this shirt. I'm just trying to be comfy today. As you guys know, I have, I'm really allergic. I was, I went to the f pet store and I'm allergic to aspen bedding. I mean, not aspen, pine bedding. So I started to get like a deep, like, I'm really like sick right now. I'm just allergies and stuff. I'm really allergic to pine bedding. So I got, I got her this care fresh bedding. Sorry, I need to just do a better angle than this can see so yeah here's her cage i just filled her up her water i am doing i'm just gonna do like a haul that i got so i got this cage from christmas and as you guys know i got let me let me tell you a little story real quick so i had this um hamster got it for christmas very vicious my mom tried to stick her hand out like this, and it came over and intentionally bit off a chunk of her skin, and it bruised all around her. So, yeah, it was really bad. So, I went to my dad's, and it was just, I was trying to feed her, fluff up her bedding. She would attack me and stuff like this. So, I had, like, something was wrong with her. So, a week later, I took her to Petco and said, is there something wrong with this hamster? I know it. This is not how they're supposed to act. So they said that they ha she had a big, dis she had like um, an infection in her mouth and it was swelling up and stuff. And she was constipated. That's why she was feeling upset. So I, I took her to the vet and they said they'll take her to the vet, give her the right care that she needs and put her up for adoption. I think that's better because if I kept her, I don't know like how to treat any thing so if I kept her any longer she might have passed so I think I made a right decision so yeah so I have that's I have a new hamster her name's Susie she is really nice I got her this little hut every time I go around this cage it smells like pine bedding so bad because it was right by pine bedding as you guys can see my eyes water and stuff so yeah um but um, so. sorry guys, just like I'm about to sneeze, but so yeah, here's her little house, I put these stickers on, she has this little hut, I'll try to show you guys, oh. so yeah, here's her little hut thing, this is her little door, I open it like this. She's in there. There she is. She is only one month old. And she is a teddy bear Syrian. She is very friendly. I was just like feeding her. She would come up to me and like rub her fur on me. And she says I'm really nice. So I thought I would do like a little, um, you know, like a little thing okay sure the food that i give her what food's best and everything like that so i have we're going to the pet shop today because i buy a, a, a tube phone like um get a tube so they can like hang out and stuff yeah that's what i'm gonna do also but this is like old it's supposed to be like that this yeah there's some old stuff but no it's supposed to be like that it's, it's like this would be old looking so yeah but um here it is so i give her like about a teaspoon of hamster and gerbil food it's their pellets and this is really healthy and they uh, it contains lots of nutrients and stuff and I feed like a tablespoon every other day, maybe. And then for treats, I have these simple rewards, baked treats with carrots and jelly. These are like really nice. Francie loved these, but I never tried them out with Susie before, so I think she'll like them. And then I got this um, tropical carnival. This is what Susie's food was. But yeah, there's like a lot of soup. 
And I just think that this is really not a good choice because if I give it to her, she'll pick through what she wants. And I do not want to have a picture either. Don't look on yours. No. You're a little. No, you're not. You're, okay. you're going to overfeed She's going to eat all of this. Yeah, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to feed it she once. She out. Yeah, I know. She will. Once she eats all of it, you give it to her. So, yeah. Sorry about that. And, yeah. Timber has this little saucer thing that she goes up through the tunnel and stays in. And she has this thing in the tunnel. And I'm going to like do a range of things. In the I want a little crawl up thing also. So... Yeah, here is Timber's hamster. He's right in that thing. He's burrowing. He's in that little. He's in his little castle here. Let's open here. it up. So yeah, it's right there. He's right in there. You can see his back. Can you guys see that? Move Timber. His back is right nice. there. Yeah, with their sisters, and they're only one month old. But mine has stripes on the side, so I was gonna call her Tiger, but. That Susie fit her better, and she came to me and I said, Susie, so his name is Feather because it's a girl, yeah. So I'll show you what toys I have in mine, and then I'll show you what toys that has in his after he plays another round of that game. So, first off, I have this Chew Furniture. This little thing. It was, I had it for Francie. She did not seem to enjoy it that well, but she has been like nobbling at it. Stop. And so, yeah. Timur, get out then. Get out, go. Wait. Oh, really? Okay, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, guys, so here it is. Stay right there. So I have this little chair. Can close they can't see you. So we have this little chair too. I think that she likes it. I rinsed it out and boiled it in like water to get all that bacteria and stuff out of it. And I have this complete her favorite. Her she that, what? Yeah, she she loves this. She's been like nobbling at it. It's this apple slice brush her like a flosser, but I didn't put that on because I didn't want to do it yet. And then I got her this food dish. That I thought was really cute. And it has a little chew stick in it. She's been nobbling at it too. And I also have this little wheel for her. She really likes it. And mine. Mine really likes <laughs> it. So yeah. I'm gonna so I'm gonna get like I'm gonna get like that so we can come down a little bit more. And I'm gonna So, and I also, yeah, they, I, I put about at least seven inches of bedding in here because I thought that she needs to burrow. She's been burrowing a lot. I'm not going to scavenger feed her yet. I want her to get used to feeding her, and then I'm going to, like, see, I'm going to, she's going to watch me burrow it in the thing and see if she gets it to understand the concept because I don't want her to starve and not be able to. Because she doesn't have those instincts. So let me tell you a little story. She is not a normal hamster. She, so Wait, some, ours, some, listen. Ours has red eyes. You're being annoying. Okay, so. I'm not to be rude or anything, but I'm trying to talk and you're being mean. So. I got that on video. I'm showing them. Okay. I'm showing my real dad. Oh, then who's your real dad, huh? Daddy's actually. No, he's not. Don't call him my dad. Well, I mean, you can't. Stop! Don't! Sorry, guys, for the misconception. It's my stepdad, and who is. He says that, like, my dad, real dad, not my dad, but he actually is. So just he's my stepdad. So what I was gonna say, they have red eyes, like Timur informed us. But some lady brought them in on t the twenty fourth of December, November, November, and they were they had sixteen babies. They put the 
they were both teddy bear Syrians, and they're all females. So I named mine Susie. I thought it was a Susie. It looked like a Susie. His definitely looks like a feather. His like things are so like light to, and fluffy. I want to try putting in for that little black and gray one. Why? No. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping my hamster. I'm never giving it away. Oh, yeah, I'm it's keeping the my best. hamster. Yeah, I'm keeping and yeah, she's so friendly and everything yeah she's really energetic but for some reason she only runs during the day he's more of a like night active no, like she wakes up around five ish and just starts running running last <laughs> she'll night, stop at like eight and go to sleep till like three last so. night my hamster was just running it off yes yeah he wouldn't stop he wouldn't but stop. she has like something so Francie had like something wrong with her as i told you but she wasn't in her she was like really friendly and energetic. she would come to me but then she would laugh and start biting me so but she was energetic she wasn't that energetic but maybe a little bit but she was more of a sleeper and i didn't have any supplies when i first got her not even food just bedding water and a toy and that's, that's all i had and two toys no, I didn't have a toy. Yeah, toys. So, yeah. I reckon, these are the brands that I recommend for getting, if you're getting a pet. KT. Um, Petco. Definitely the bedding is Carefresh. KT bedding. I totally recommend it all the way. And I just don't really like pine bedding. It's not good for a hamster whatsoever. It can cause, like, the functions and the hamster and, and could possibly end up killing it and so about one thing you don't want to get those tiny little things no dwarf hamsters are fine you can get dwarf hamsters i didn't Lots say of people about have... hamsters i was talking about the bedding you know the little small little bedding no you're so that that. that's good which if, it, if it's a little one then that's pine bedding uh, if it's if, it, if you get a small one, then I don't recommend that because it can choke on you. But yeah, so hit that like button down below and hit that like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you can be part of the neighbor squad. Ow. Stop. Oh, it's a light. Stop. It'll mess up the lighting on the camera. So yeah, guys, mm -hmm. I will do a video when she's awake. Peace, y'all.